Good morning, everybody. And uh, it's Friday, and that means that tonight is Shabbos, and that is a good thing. Really happy about that. And we have been talking about how to bring Judaism into our homes, you know, with our synagogues closed and the opportunities to gather and convene in traditional ways through the synagogue service. They're not really accessible to us right now. Um, we have to think of other ways to, to make our spiritual journey move forward. And the truth is, as I've been pointing out every day, that really Judaism is really more than anywhere is taking place in our homes. That's where it needs to be. And whether I'm with my family or I'm by myself, it really doesn't matter. How do we bring Judaism into our homes in a more meaningful way? And obviously, kind of a no-brainer, that there's no better way to do that than Shabbat. Shabbat is the ultimate way to bring Judaism, Jewish wisdom, Jewish values, Jewish excitement and energy into our homes. How do you do it? There's so many ways to do it. You know, if a person is not ready to make the commitment to be totally Shomer Shabbos, does that mean that they have no, com they have no connection to Shabbat? Absolutely not. There's so many different ways you can do it. You can make a beautiful Friday night meal for yourself, your family, whoever's there. You can make uh, kosher challahs or buy kosher challahs. I recommend if you're going to do challahs, do kosher, get kosher ones, because that's really what Shabbat is all about. It's about connecting to God and, and, the, and the Torah, and you want to do that in the right way. Um, always have words of wisdom to share on Shabbos. There's so many ways to do that. H.com, Chabad.org, so on and so forth. Something on the Torah portion, something on the holiday, next holiday coming up, a question, anything you want. But there, there's so many different ways to create inspiration and, um, and connection through Shabbat. The Shabbat prayers are beautiful. Reading the um, Torah portion of the week on, on Saturday morning, Shabbat morning, when it's quiet, I highly recommend that. There's just many, many different ways. If anyone wants to explore them and, you, and, and within the context of your own personal life and situation, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to uh, make a time to talk and think of creative ways to bring the power and the energy and the melodies and the tastes and the smells of Shabbat into your home. Have a wonderful Shabbos, everybody, and we will see you on Sunday. Shabbat Shalom.